these calves are just flying out. There's another one in the corner. Oh, look at that. Oh, stop. <laughs> these are so cute. There's one there. And then there's one there. That little Angus. And then, what's this? Oh, it's a blue. It's a small blue, that though. Are you going to be a twin? Another twin? Oh, well, if, you saw, if it's off 202, which is a small cow, it'll just be a small blue. And then I'm guessing one of them heifers that we got that was due for Christmas Day has had that little Angus. This is working out well. Hopefully, nothing's going to carve tomorrow and then it's easy. Easy. It's not going to happen, is it, though? Look at that effort. She's even running the milk. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now I've started speaking, the calves are bawling at me. Um, it's Christmas Eve. I am so excited for Christmas this year, like so excited. And yeah, we're one day away, guys. So, and also being Christmas Eve, that means this is the end of Vlogmas. So this is the last video that you'll see. Um, do with vlogmas well saying that i am going to vlog tomorrow because i am on the farm and what have you and just show you what we get up to but i don't know when i'm going to post that i might post that like the day after boxing day or boxing day i'm not really sure you'll have to um write in the comments to tell me which day you'd prefer me to upload it um but yeah i'm just gonna with cows carving everywhere i'm not even kidding i think my little pens i'm soon gonna run out so I think I'm even gonna have to move some over maybe, which I don't really want to do because they're only tiny. So who knows? Anyway, they're better carving today than they are tomorrow. So hopefully we're gonna go all spit them out today and we're not gonna have anything carved in the morning. That's the ideal. Um, anyway, I've got David and Leighton in the parlor milking for me while I just do calves. It's Sunday morning. And so that is normally the case on their weekend on. Hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy the video guys. quickly fed all the big pens i've come into the small pens which i've got a full row up here i've one here and then i've got to bring two more in um in fact i think two of these are off colostrum now but the rest of them are all on colostrum yeah. i know um these little twins from yesterday they're so cute look at them we've got the little high vis jackets on <laughs> the um so everything that we that calves gets a coat on and uh obviously all the black ones they're called cozy calves they're actually a calf jacket these high vis ones they're actually dog car coats i got them years ago from cars billington because we had a set of twins and the other ones were too big for them and these little um dog coats fit them perfectly so yeah thank you right can we go and get you all some milk how many buckets do we need one two three four five six seven buckets
spun yesterday. I'm pretty sure Meg's just fed it with the bottle. So it's not actually drunk from this little system yet. So this is what takes the time is just, it's getting it pretty well, like it's drinking away now, but I've got four others to do and I probably will have to stand with the other four just to make sure that they get enough milk in them. I don't want to just put them on and then leave them to it because if they can't find it, they soon get bored and then they'll lie down and then they'll just go hungry. So yeah, it takes a bit of time when it's like this. That's why when there's so many carving, <laughs> it makes it hard work just because you don't want them to go hungry so you stand with them and i'll be in here for like probably the next half an hour just feeding these other four maybe even longer but anyway the other three are all drinking happily away and yeah they've all sussed it oh that's drank a full bucket i'll just top that one up actually you stay there right top this one up Drunk loads. I've just topped it up for you. Want some more? <laughs> Come on then. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought, but anyway, right. I'm now just gonna um set two more fresh pens up for these two that have carved this morning, go and get them. Then I need to get the cows out and get them milked and then I can feed the babies. So bedding these two pens up. Breath now. <laughs> right, I've just brought them in. Oh, I need a minute. <sighs> right, just gonna do the navels now. Right. Please don't wander off. Anything fresh carb, we um, dip the navels with iodine to help dry them out, kill any bugs, and prevent any bacteria, bulbs, anything getting up, basically. Yeah? Right, we're in. Both in their own pens. They both had the navel done. This one has had the biggest poo ever. So that's obviously had a drink off its mum already. So that's one last job. I will try it, see if it wants any more. David, they're the ones that have been milking for me. I say every weekend about him, but you've never met him yet because they don't want to be on camera. The black ones are my new car ones. That white one, she doesn't need to be in here. I'm going to let her out in a minute. Go on, good girl, you up there. Because I need to bowl, you know.
boluses, one for her, one for the one behind her. I have a pocket. Give these bolus so we can get milk. Mm -hmm. every calf in the shed finished um yeah i know i've not really shown you like in depth of what i'm doing but i've had quite a lot of people ask me to do like a um an in-depth keep saying that now uh, an in-depth video of how we feed our calves which i am doing so i've started it the other week where i'm gonna follow two calves were born on the same day basically i had a blue and an angus calf on the same day and i'm gonna follow their journey if you get me so they're about 10 days old now two weeks maybe um so i'm going to do a full video from birth to sending them to the auction of how we feed them what they get fed and all that sort of stuff so you'll get a full in-depth video of that in the new year which is crazy to say because we're nearly in 2024 um so yeah right what else have i got to do i need to go back in the parlor now so Right, so over Christmas, we're actually going to turn the horses out so we don't have to muck out or anything, you know, just to make it easier for ourselves because otherwise we'll not, I'll not be going home till like 10 o'clock. So, it's going to change his rug. I'll <laughs> changed his rug i am actually i've dug it up i'm gonna lift all his bed up over christmas and let it dry out while he's out because i'm gonna leave him out for probably a week or so now um on the river bank yeah the weather's not great but these two really don't mind the weather at all and the well rugs as well it's not so they're not like gonna get a chill or anything um yeah i'm not gonna go in for breakfast at the farm i'm actually gonna go home and have breakfast with sam because you know it's christmas eve after all <laughs> so i'm gonna go and see if he is arisen after his pub crawl yesterday i didn't hear him come in i never hear him come in to be fair sleep like an absolute log me so uh yeah i don't know what time he got in or anything so we'll go see we'll go see and we'll go and have some breakfast so see you in a bit 
Right, so it's back in the afternoon. I've been home and I've tidied, mopped, cleaned everything you could possibly think of. I'm not kidding, look at this. Calves everywhere. <laughs> little one there, and Meg thought there might have been another one. She had a look on the camera. Hello, little baby. You're very cute. One. I keep liking this little. Oh, it's here. Oh, hi, tiny baby. You're so cute. Uh, I think that'll be one of these hair. Yeah, this one's got blood on it, so it'll be from that. And yeah, there we have it. Two more. Meg's on calf duty tonight, so I'm going to stay in the parlour. Try and edit my video whilst milking. <laughs> Get this uploaded. 